But we start tonight with the latest on the Lakewood Church shooting that has made national headlines. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. We are learning more tonight about the woman who opened fire in the church and the young child critically injured. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at Lakewood Church tonight as we hear from the family of the seven-year-old boy who was shot in the head. Bryce. Keith and Daniela, that seven year old victim who police say is the shooter's biological son continues fighting for his life in the hospital tonight as his grandmother is sharing a statement for the first time calling this a completely preventable horror. And tonight we have new reporting. Divorce records are revealing details about that shooter's documented mental health history, as police have called it, as well as a possible connection to this mega church. Tonight, local, state, and federal investigators combing through evidence collected from the home of 36-year-old Janessi Moreno, who Houston police say opened fire in Joel Osteen's church Sunday. Shooting at Lakewood, two people down, we need an ambulance. Police say Moreno entered the mega church wearing a trench coat with her son when she began firing an AR-15 bearing a Palestine sticker. Diagonal. Gunshots interrupted the start of a Spanish language service before an off-duty HPD officer and TABC agent returned fire. She eventually falls to the ground. The seven-year-old child it falls to the ground as well. Authorities haven't determined whose gunfire struck the child in the head, but his grandmother writing on Facebook, no one may ever blame a police officer who carries out his or her rightful duty to save lives, even if they are found responsible for shooting my grandson. The shooter has been arrested at least five times, records show, in October 2022, pleading guilty to unlawful carrying of a weapon. Investigators say Moreno used many aliases, including some male names like Jeffrey, and that they've found anti-Semitic writings. We do believe that there was a familial dispute that has taken place between uh, her ex-husband and her ex-husband's family, and some of those individuals are Jewish. Divorce records obtained by KPRC show her ex-husband in 2021 told a judge Moreno would physically attack him and on multiple occasions chased him out of the house with knives. One time with their child in the car, she pointed a gun on him and that she told him all the time that she just tricked him to get her citizenship. Records reveal the child's paternal grandmother asked a Montgomery County court to appoint her temporary managing conservator, claiming Moreno had schizophrenia and didn't always take her prescribed medication. She does have a mental health history that is documented through us and through interviews with family members. While police haven't revealed a motive, the grandmother wrote in custody battle documents, the church shooter and her mother knowingly and intentionally harmed the child by lying to authorities for reasons hard to understand, even by the pastoral staff of Joel Osteen's church, where Moreno's mother attended. And that grandmother writing on Facebook, when family members seek emergency protections, they're not doing so for their own sake, but for the sake of the person who is ill and to protect her child and society. That grandmother also blaming the state for not having stronger red flag laws, which could have prevented Moreno from owning or possessing a gun. Tonight, police say that AR-15 she used was purchased legally, but they did find another gun in her bag. And tonight, they're still investigating where that one came from. We're live in Upper Kirby Town. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. This investigation continues. Bryce, thank you. And we are also learning more about the shooter's lengthy criminal history that Bryce touched on dating back to 2005. It includes illegally carrying a weapon, failure to stop and give information, marijuana possession, forgery, and assault on a public servant. We will continue to follow this closely. You can keep up to date with the very latest information, including the timeline of the shooting on our website, click to Houston. Houston.com.